Okay, welcome to this traditionally amusing evening seminar. Now you know at Dialogue that we we usually try to encourage people to bring their spouses to these events. Um, we also have Christmas parties where the spouses are welcome. And I've always tried to make these conferences such that the spouses and accompanying persons wanted to come. Now, there's one person who's always been game, and that's Flora. She's always accompanied John to these events, and we are very happy for that because, I mean, the more persons we are, the more social things goes on. Yay, Flora! <laughs> 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 And I do believe that this year, Flora is actually trying to help us by inspiring John to choose a somewhat different subject from his usual very technical stuff for these evenings. So it's about something about social skills, and social I'm very skills. excited to see what it is. But I'm sure if you all take this lecture in the spirit that it's given, and apply it when you get back home, that maybe we'll see more spouses in the years to come. So, welcome, Björn. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, the mic is on. Uh, well, I, I won't keep you long. Um, uh, the, this community has been very good to me over the last 30 years or so, and uh, I, I just felt was there a way I could somehow give something back to you all? And uh, I was, you know, I was trying to think, you know, what do these people need? What do they lack? Uh, what could they use a little help with? Um, uh, you know, and then, and then it occurred to me, people, um, people struggle in social situations sometimes. You, you know, you, maybe you're at a party, um, you know, and you're talking to somebody and they go and get a drink and they never come back again. Do you know? <laughs> or, um, you know, you, you're, you're in a restaurant or you're at uh, dinner with, with uh, <clears throat> so a friend has invited you to dinner, maybe at Christmas or I don't know, it could be Easter, it could, could, could be any kind of time really. So you're at dinner and you're talking to somebody new and they ask you what you... Uh, what you're doing, and you, you start telling them what, what you do. <coughs> and uh, after a while, they, they uh, reach for a steak knife and stab you with it. Yeah, yeah we, we've all been there. So we, uh, uh, we, all, we all know that, what that is. So um, I, I, I'd like to also uh, reiterate what Gita said. I'd like to um, thank Flora, my, my wife, my lover, my friend. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Flora, Flora gave me a, a lot of suggestions for tonight. She, she, she gave me a lot of suggestions. She a lot of suggestions. Okay. So, this is social skills for computer programs. Oh, I should say early on. I, I really don't mean this to be sexist. Sometimes I will use the word he when I'm talking about people who lack skills as social as, as computer programmers. I know there are really good female computer programmers, but somehow they they seem to have some social skills. So this is kind of <laughs> directed more at the guys. So I, but it, maybe it applies throughout. Okay. So the first thing to to say is, do, you know, this could be a really short evening. Do we have a problem? <laughs> Maybe we don't have a problem. Um, well, I, what, I want to, what I want to ask is, are programmers like normal people? Because, and I know there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's some partners and things here. Would anybody like to raise a hand and say, yeah, you know, we can go, programmers are like normal people. Yeah. So that's kind of conclude. <laughs> That's kind of conclusive. So that establishes our first important result tonight. <laughs> that uh, programmers are not like NPs, normal, uh, normal people. So uh, we had a show of hands, so that's 
fact now. We know, we know this. Now, to, uh, what, what I'm going to do is take you through the three stages. Um, first of all, we're in denial. We think we have, uh, we, we're good. We're, we're like normal people. Um, and then we have to accept. And then we can make progress and recovery. So I'm hoping to take us through these, uh, uh, through these stages tonight. Okay, so first of all, what is a social skill? Do we, there's, there's some things that clearly are social skills and, uh, and some things that aren't. Um, so I'll give you some examples. Um, uh, <laughs> kissing, kissing wife before leaving for the office is a social skill. Um, uh, mutter, uh, <laughs> muttering kiss wife as you approach her to do so while you're checking that you've got your power cable and everything. <laughs> power cable specs, kiss wife. It's not, it's not as good. It's not, so, it's not such a social skill. Um, some of these, I kind of have to take on trust whether they're good or bad, but uh, it's been suggested to me that this is the case. Um, eye contact is very good when you're, when you're talking to people. This is a, this is a good skill. Uh, <laughs> Staring is not so. Uh, it, staring is not so good. Oh, aardvark, Yeah, the the ability to enunciate the word aardvark while belching <laughs> is not a social skill. Uh, if you're an African, it's part of your vocabulary. Okay. All right. Well, there are the regional differences here. Okay. <laughs> there are. All right. Yeah, this is a kind of Great Britain, uh, East Coast American kind of uh, slant on this. All right? And this goes for most knuckle-cracking, finger, you know, finger-popping, any noises that you can make with your body. Um, Flatulence-based pyrotechnics. Okay. Um, showing interest. Well, I, I put feigning interest, but... Um, showing interest in what the other person <laughs> is saying is, uh, is quite important. Um, oh, yeah, 50-50 rule. If you're talking to somebody, this is a really important one. It's kind of good if you kind of do half of the, you know, I do half of the talking, you do half of the talking, and rather than one person dominate. And maybe you want a chess clock while you're having a conversation <laughs> with somebody just to, uh, just to keep this, uh, this straight. Okay. Oh yeah, the ability to <laughs> the ability to be able to produce 16 gigabytes of memory stick from your pocket at a social occasion <laughs> apparently is not a social skill. Uh, I, I've learnt a lot uh, preparing this. Oh yeah, normal people have non-technical interests. So a really good thing to do is, to, is you might like to think of some conversation topics like uh, um, uh, what kind <laughs> Oh yeah, what kind of gas mileage you get in your car? That's a good, that's a good opener. Um, what, how are the rhododendrons doing this year? Uh, uh, you must really give me the recipe for that. They, these are good things. So you could just learn some of these things. They're very good, uh, very good things to say. Oh, yeah, weirding. Weirding is a big thing. Um, what we tend to do is weird people. So sometimes, and, and the trick is, if you're at a social gathering and you're talking to somebody, there are signs that... It's not your weirding people. So, and there's a kind of progression of reaction. Um, well, leaving <laughs> is kind of one. Well, uh, maybe before that even, if people are looking around to see where the door is, the exits, that's, that's good. Um, you may be telling them about your algorithm or something. So if they leave, that's a sign that you're, you're we really... Oh, yeah, their eyes kind of glaze over or shut... Um, that's a sign that you need to uh, uh, that you need to check how you're doing. Um, shouting at you <laughs> is uh, is also a sign. 
and violence. Um, so that's a kind, normally that's a progression. Maybe the eyes come first, leaving. So it's good to, to the more skillful you get, the the earlier you will be able to spot these things in the uh, list. And and the first thing to do maybe then is to stop talking. That's a good. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, Okay, I should say what I'm what I'm going to do tonight. Well, well, I should have told you this to start with. Um, I've got just got a few lists, not many slides at all. A few lists, a few of these uh, kind of uh, points. Um, we'll go through these, kind of set the scene, and then we'll kind of open this to like a surgery, like a group therapy. So if anybody has got a, any of the partners in particular would like to say something that they would, some little bit of behaviour they'd like corrected. Uh, <laughs> Then we can, as a group, we can maybe offer advice uh, to what, what can be done. So maybe uh, the partners can be thinking uh, about these things. Uh. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I put this. I mean, this is very specific, but um, be careful with hugging. <coughs> be careful hugging people. That's, yeah, because you may not be able to go back in that shop again if... Uh, <laughs> If you get this wrong. So here's a, here's a kind of guide. Immediate family, fine. Yeah? You can hug immediate family unless they've got restraining orders or something. Unless, <laughs> unless there are legal reasons for not doing so. But hugging immediate family, fine. Work colleagues is very, very, very difficult. I, I have seen work colleagues hug. Um, I think the best advice with this is let them hug you. <laughs> yeah. And then you can kind of, you know, I, I realise there's a kind of bootstrapping problem there if uh, somebody's got to make the first move. But as a general rule, but there's some obvious one. Policemen, no. <laughs> ne never hug a policeman. And um, uh, in fact, I got quite a lot of advice about policemen. Um, yeah, when a policeman asks what your name is, uh, the best thing is to say what it says on your passport. It, you may think you're being helpful by saying, you choose, I am but the referent. <laughs> and, you know, in a local context... In fact, when he told you to step out of the vehicle, <laughs> he, did, he probably called you sir or, or something. So, in a way, he's already assigned you a name. Um, and in a local context, and it's, cu cu it's quite, it's unlikely that any of the members of the SWAT team are called asshole. <laughs> so, it's, he's going to, you, you're uniquely identified anyway. So, uh, so that's good. Just say what it says on your passport. That, that, would, be, that would be my advice. Um, social workers also, and uh, anyone with powers under the 1983 Mental Health Act... The, I would advise not uh, not hugging uh, hugging those people. Uh, what's next? Oh, romance. Okay, I have to deal with romance. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is very difficult. Well, actually, it's not a difficult subject. Uh, a really uh, a very straightforward uh, uh, decombination of romance is to split it down into development and maintenance. <laughs> uh, and. Yeah. Um, so romance dot development. <laughs> right. Presentation. Um, so this is development. Uh, it's best if you wear clean clothes. Um, you should you should get a, a, a fairly new reference card. In your pocket, not an old battered up one. Um, uh, pens are okay. Uh, if you are fortunate enough to have coloured pens, I suggest you put them in RGB order uh, <laughs> from the onlooker's point of view because that's come somehow uh, less, less stressful uh, for people. So that's clean clothes, right, ones that you, you, know, you haven't been wearing too long. And, uh, you know, you just, well... Yeah. Right, conversation is very important. 
Um, again, you're at a dinner party, you're sitting next to somebody, you think maybe it is, you know, maybe they, they're interested in your latest uh, depth first traversal technique, you, you, don't, you don't know. Um, now, if you come, if you sit quietly for a while, this, this sometimes happens, you sit, you're scratching, you don't know what to say, you're a bit stressed. If you suddenly come out and say, I've got 16 terabytes, um, it, believe me, that it, it do, somehow it just doesn't work as a, as a kind of a, an endearing thing. So the, these are just some techniques I've learned. The best thing is to start on a very kind of neutral uh, topic. You might like to say to them, uh, what's your favorite flavor of yogurt? That would be a good one. And uh, you might say, well, mine's fruits of the forest. And, you know, that, that brings you over as slightly kind of offbeat. You're not just strawberry or banana yogurt. And, and it shows you that, that you care about, the, uh, care about the planet. So that's a good kind of way of uh, starting. And they may say, uh, you know, how do you keep your hair looking so nice? And I'd say, I use a volumizing shampoo <laughs> and a little mist of spray to hold it in place. And then it would be appropriate to say, are you interested in solid state memory at all? <laughs> and you can see that, you can see that it's just a kind of gentle lead in it. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah, so these are topics. Uh, vocabulary is very important. Um, grep is not a verb. You can't say, what were you doing? I was just grepping around in the, your sup drawer to find something. Don't, don't do that. Uh, what are some others? Uh, grep. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, yeah. What, uh, what is the, uh, if, uh, what's, the, what's your tea specification? Milk and two sugar. No. Never, ever, ever use the word orthogonal outside of a programming <laughs> office. And avoid prepend. There is no such word. Yeah? So that's, that's important. May, may, you, you shouldn't really use any words that are not in the Daily Mail. <laughs> that's a good... Uh, that's a good. Yeah, trust me, you know, I've, I'm ex I've tried this. Now, romance.maintenance, this is, this is a little bit trickier, but it, we can still... we can do this. Um, <laughs> if you say, I love you to somebody, that does not set a state forever. <laughs> like I said I love you in 1970. <laughs> so you kind of have to say it now and again. And it's best eye contact when you're saying it. If you've got your, your typing away and you say that's, that's not as good. All right. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> well, if I said it in public, what? I love you. <laughs> wow. 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 I, I'm good till Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Occasionally, your partner will say, what are you thinking about? You sit, maybe you're sitting on the beach, you're looking at the moon. What are you thinking about? <laughs> well, at that very moment, I was wondering <laughs> if I could use reduction to do a breadth-first <laughs> search. That's, that's, not, that's not a good answer. A better answer is, if you were any more beautiful, I think my heart would burst. Yeah? That's a better answer. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I, I emailed some people um, uh, for suggestions for this, uh, this talk, and one of the... Um, a common theme in the replies was explanations. Um, 
I just want it fixed. I don't want an extra note. Apart from the partner's point of view, they want their email working. They have no interest in knowing about TCP IP, <laughs> uh, resetting, controls. So, uh, and there was a common theme, I do not want a long, boring explanation. Lo the words long, boring explanation came in a lot, of, uh, a lot of things. So, you know, keep the explanations accurate but short. That's, uh, that's a good thing to do. Ah, well, listen. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, I, um, I, I promise not to embarrass anybody with this. It's not... Uh, uh, I'm not going to do it. At least that's what I thought when I was planning this. Uh, uh, planning this. Um, so I'll only make two observations. Um, and one is obvious. It's been made many times before. Trimming a couple of seconds off elapsed time is not always a good thing outside the office. Okay, that's one thing. Yeah. And the, the other thing is... Um, uh, Leaving your laptop open so <laughs> you can hear if you get an incoming email. <laughs> they, know, they know you're doing it. <laughs> they know. Well, um, yeah, I, I guess the same, the same hold, yeah. It, uh, yep, okay, that's all I'm going to say. The, if anybody else wants some more detailed advice, uh, maybe see me, um, you know, and... <laughs> My private surgery. Okay. Clo close the lid. Okay. Okay, so we're nearly at the end of these lists, and then we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll tip it over. What have we got? Oh, yeah, just odds and ends. So um, just before we go to sort of open this up for um, uh, general, uh, just general um, discussion, uh, I've got a couple of specific uh, things um, and a little bit of help for a couple of people. Is there Mr. Kromberg in the room? <laughs> Where's Mr. Kromberg? <laughs> um, Mr. Kromberg, uh, making a big deal of cleaning partner's laptop screen before fixing the problem. Um, Daintree apparently owns a, a wristwatch with a built-in memory stick. <laughs> oh, Ms. Christensen. Grabbing back laptop before problem fixed. <laughs> uh. Oh, hang on, I had a, that's one for me here. Hello. Um... Uh, next time there's a family occasion, if you insist on wearing the dialogue T-shirt, you're going on your own. <laughs> it makes you look like a removal man. <laughs> yeah. And this one was not anybody in particular. This was... Uh, uh, a lot of people had just the same thing. Just fix the problem. I don't want a long story. That was, uh, a lot of people put that in. Um, Michael Hughes, Mike, <laughs> Michael Hughes, Michael Hughes, Michael Hughes. Uh, actually, we're, we were able to get a surprising number of your partner's email addresses, so... <laughs> yeah? We've got quite a stack of paper here. Where's Michael? Where's Michael Hughes? Where, there, right. Um, Okay, I've, I, I've, I can't do all of these. We, and, uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Um, alarms and timers. We don't need as many alarms and timers going off all over the place. Um, please don't say, when you answer the phone, don't call out it's your boss when the Bishop of Peterborough is on the line. <laughs> Um, and there's something, I, I'm going to skip over a couple of these, it seems, okay. The, all right, there's another thing about other APLers. Apparently, other APLers are not good news. And I had that from a number of people. Do not invite other APLers <laughs> to the house. 
Yeah. So there's a tip. Uh, Mr. Grosvenor, that T-shirt. Uh, Jeff Street. Is Jeff Street here? It's probably... Jesus. Jeff Street. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, here's, oh, I don't know who this is from. This is from somebody in the USA or the UK. Oh, this is so poignant. It's so sweet. It says, do not leave. This first bit's in uppercase. Do not leave bathroom scale set to kilograms. It gives me false hope. Oh. Isn't that sweet? Mr. Spinici? Where's Mr. Spinici? Is he there? Where is he? Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe see me afterwards. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, we're nearly, nearly at the end, I think. Um, oh, several Raspberry Pi robots in the kitchen. Raspberry Pi robots in the kitchen. No. There's more than one person, Raspberry Pi robots in the kitchen. Uh, how many more we've got? Oh, the last one. Oh, yeah, this one says... Uh, I forget who this was from. Um, this is a genuine one. Going out for flowers, coming back with a, a 1982 Unix box at bargain price. Uh, I need a ruling on that. Is that bad? Is that... Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. That is very wrong to do that. Okay, so those are the, those are the specific announcements. So uh, it's really, you know, what, how can I help you? What, what, who's had, uh, what would people like to say? Any advice you'd like any of the partners to uh, chip in some uh, things that they'd like sorted out? Any little problems we'd like the group to deal with? We've got a, you know, we've got a combined IQ well into four figures, I guess, in this uh, <laughs> in this room. Yeah. A somebody, no names mentioned, told me the other day that they had acquired the skill to actually talk to their spouse while programming. Oh. So that went really well until, but they, I mean, problem was they forgot what they said. So when <laughs> any promises made were. Not met. Yeah. So maybe you need to practice a little yeah. more, but, but that is a solution. Yeah. Does uh, he give courses? Sorry? Does that person give training? Yeah, that would be good. I've got a feeling people can tell when you're, um, when you're, uh, when you're not quite there. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Yeah. Any, any more? Well, yes? Well, I think you've really done us kind of an injustice here, clumping us all together. There really are some differences, and I wondered if you knew about some of those. For example, there's a difference between an introverted programmer and an extroverted programmer. Do you know the difference? No, I don't, no. Well, the introverted programmer looks at his shoes when he's talking to somebody. The extroverted programmer looks at the other person's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <clears throat> okay, that was good. Is there one a gentleman in the front row? <clears throat> John, how do you handle the dinner time question of what did you do today? Or how was your day? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, a very, that's a very good question. Um, uh, you, you have to be very careful with this. Um, <laughs> you have to be very careful. Uh, you, like I managed to get so-and-so working and such and such and such. Yeah. It's... Um, you... you I, you, what you need to do is to try to think of the people you met today. I think that's a good, that's a good thing. So I met, uh, I was going out and I met the postman and uh, the guy on the train. I, think, yeah, I should stick to those kind of, uh, kind of things. You, you do not want to get into words like recursion and uh, <laughs> variables. That's, that's bad news. And in any case, keep it short. Short, yeah. Ex yeah, and look for the weirding signs. If somebody's reaching for cutlery, uh, 
you need to stop. Yeah, gentleman here. Do you have any advice for us about uh, children? Not the interesting ones, the attributes of object um, properties. <laughs> I meant, I meant the, 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 the random selection of biological instances. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, my brother-in-law, who's a primary school teacher, um, says he likes children, but he couldn't eat a whole one. Uh, so I don't, uh, yeah, children, children are kind of funny. I, I mean, my, my children learned very early on uh, to spot the look on my face when I was going to tell them something interesting. And they were gone. I mean, uh, and I, I told this to J uh, Dr. Jim Brown, Jim I brackets IBM Brown. And he said his kids did the opposite when he said, uh, now here's something interesting. They used to go, <laughs> and it kind of put him off his, uh, they were being sarcastic. So uh, that was it. Is that it? Another one? Yeah. I think Michael might have some useful information about what not to do with your children, didn't he? Oh, yeah, okay, well, let's... Oh, dumb. I'd rather not. <laughs> don't, don't leave them at the train station. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. That, yes, in fact, I think that's one of the ones I spared you, leaving at the train station, yes. Yeah, it's always good to remember, if asked, how many children you have. That's good. And ideally their names. That's... Uh, was it, yes, zero, numbered, are they numbered zero and one, or are they, yeah, those are the names, right, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, in fact, yes, explain, yes, NPs, normal people, do not actually care whether you count from zero or one. And I kind of find that amazing, that they have no interest in that... Uh, and during the dinner, you can kind of, you can find a set of stairs and you can say, look, look, everybody get up before the pudding arrives. Now, standing at the stairs, which stair am I on? Zero, one, two. <laughs> That's it, you know, end of story. So, um, yeah, gentleman at the back. John, do you have any advice for uh, telecommuters? Because I, you know, have an office in my home, and uh, when it's time to stop work, I unhook my laptop from my docking station and take it up into the family room. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I see that. Yeah, and and your question is. <laughs> honey, honey, I'm home. Yeah. I, yes, that's right. I mean, that's a kind of balanced life between work and, uh, yeah, work and play. Any, yeah, another. So um, you've talked a lot about avoiding the, the social uh, mishaps, but yeah. I, I suspect that a number of us will enter without really realizing that we've entered some kind of den. And uh, just to share a little story, say you're at a dinner table, a nice party going, uh, you know, your significant other and a friend is with her, and... Um, a, a particularly uh, gripping conversation about homeotypy type theory has yeah. been going yeah. on, and um, the clacking of knitting needles is, is, is on the other side of the table. And, and at that point, I think that was a, a weirding sign, perhaps. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have any advice for, for uh, recovery? Uh, yeah. Maybe um, exception handling. Yeah, something. anything with a sharp... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I missed the last... What did you say, the last thing you said? And recovery and... Oh, trap the errors. Oh, trap the errors, yeah, yeah. Um, Telltale sign, anything with a sharp point on it. <laughs> Knitting needles, is, uh, that's part of the weirding thing. You need, you need to know that. And the clicking is a kind of, is the clicking's getting more frequent? The, the it might have been a noose that was being knitted. Okay, yeah. That would, that would be one, yeah. You, I think your options, one option is to leave. That's, that, that kind of works, if you can do that. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean... If, you know, if you're talking about um, uh, type theory and that sort of stuff, you can't really just stop, can you? It's not, <laughs> you know, uh, you can't say, um, you know, the catamorphisms remind me that I haven't fed the dog, and you know. <laughs> so I don't. It's a difficult. I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, I'm not an advanced social skills, despite <laughs> despite the way I carry myself <laughs> off in these 
I'm, you know, I'm not advanced. There are people more advanced than me. I mean, maybe some of their spouses. What do, do people know when, when the husbands are talking? Oh, again, Karen Brown, Jim Brackett's IBM Brown's um, sp spouse. And this is where APL is coming round. This is absolutely true. Um, she allows APLers in the house, which is, you know, full marks to her. Um, <laughs> And she gives them 10 minutes. <laughs> and then she blows a whistle. <laughs> it's absolutely true. And after that, uh, well, I, I don't know what happens if you talk APL after that. But there's no more APL talk after that. So that's kind of negotiating, uh, you know, it's a bit of give and a bit of take. So, uh, yeah. I think what you should do is probably have a, a couple of, uh, maybe you can, in Wikipedia, you can... You can look up on crochet work or something and get a little uh, interest that you could talk knowledgeably about, uh, uh, you know, if you have to. And then, of course, you can go back to the uh, category theory after that, yeah. Okay. Oh, another, yeah. I was just wondering, how do you explain to your spouse that you flew 26 hours because this is the best four days of the year? Sorry that you did? That you flew 26 hours to get here because it's the best four days of your oh, year. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you've got, yeah. It, it, it doesn't, I, I mean, I can kind of hear the way that conversation's going. <laughs> I flew 26 hours, we sat in a room and we looked at some Greek characters on a screen and it was really interesting. <laughs> it, uh, you may be, it's probably better to tell your spouse that you went to Vegas or something. <laughs> that would, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd probably get a, a better ride if you sent. You know, I went to went to Vegas and had a good time. Then I was working with an APL uh, crowd. Yeah, yeah. Oh, more, okay. Yeah. Any? Yes, gentlemen. <coughs> so so far, everything is what to avoid of yeah. APL and programming. It's a little well, negative. Us being younger, we need to learn how to incorporate these things to progress our life. What can the uh, more experienced gentlemen and ladies tell us? How do we use our programming skills to enhance our social life? Oh, okay, well, okay, now this is really good. Um, I, and I may be wrong here, but, I mean, one of the things is um, you can bring those in. I, I, have a, um, I have an algorithm about which socks to wear in the morning. <laughs> um, and so I've got uh, three pairs of shoes uh, with different colored laces in so I can wear them in rotation. Um, and what you'll find is if you have um, a relatively prime number of <laughs> shoes, ties, you know, like visible outerwear, you can have a rotation so that you're not wearing the same combination, you know, the repeat times that are quite long. So you can probably write, uh, write some stuff and then you can log in and, and just check what to wear today before you, uh, before you go to work. So that's good. What I have learned is... The, 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 um, the particular details of the algorithm may not be a, of much interest to your partner. <laughs> okay, but it's a, it's a really nice way of, uh, of presenting, you know, presenting yourself. And your pens, you could have a, you know, you could have a system for, um, uh, for you know, which days the permutations of your pens. And that's like a handy calendar because then you, if you look down and see the permutation, you can... Uh, <laughs> You can see which day it is, and and that's a useful thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is there is um, and uh, this is going to be one of the things that I wish I hadn't said after I've said it, but <laughs> I know. No. Okay. I'm not going to say that thing, but I'm going to say a different thing. Um, there is with shirts. If you've got enough t-shirts, let me apologise for. That. I'm going to say it anyway because I'm going to roll now, and I apologise in advance for saying this. But there is a technique where. It's called the compost technique. You, you put the shirt you take off on the top of the thing, and then the following day you get one out of the bottom. Um, and because it's been in there about a month, it's, it's kind of relatively OK. Um. I would like to point out that the rotation algorithm for shirts, ties, socks, shoes, whatnot, is a very interesting use of LCM Reduce. Oh, <laughs> man! <laughs> that Mr. Social Skill. 
<laughs> wow. That, at, at any dinner party, that, I would lead with that. Yeah, Sc- screw the yoghurt. I'd, I'd go straight into uh, LCMs. That's wonderful. Yeah, LCM reduced. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, are we about done? Are we, I mean, is there, oh, there's, there's more? Yeah, okay. Gentleman in the front row? On one point, uh-huh. uh, I think that even during the development phase, maybe not just the first or second day, uh-huh. you can speak about APL, about some recursion, but you cannot speak of, about something that you are happy uh, because you succeeded. If you speak about a bad recursion that is creating some pain in you, oh. and you show s- that you are suffering a lot because oh, of that, man. I think it can work. Huh? Wow. Wow. Wow, the Italians, huh? Wow. 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 My program is not working. I'm, I don't know how I can carry on. I got in an endless loop. Cicero 999. Yeah. Thank you so It was worth my coming for that piece of advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. This guy's an expert. So, um, how would, if we take your lessons to heart, how would you back out of a conversation if you suddenly found that, although it had been going well and they were listening to your theories on recursion, you suddenly found that they were, you know, something completely off the pile, like uh, an estate agent or um, yeah. a COBOL programmer, so. Um. It, it ain't going to happen. If it, it ain't going to happen. I mean, for normal programmers, if it's got a pulse, stick with it. You know, it, <laughs> you you're never going to get it. You, if you're going to get different degrees of estate agents, you're living in uh, La La Land. You you should really you, you should really go. Yeah. Oh, front row Canadian gentleman in the front row. Okay, so here you are, the impossible has happened, and you find yourself out having dinner with the, with the P female programmer. And oh. she starts talking about her favorite algorithm. Oh. You're doomed. Yeah, yeah. I've, all, I've kind of always wondered That's what that... You bring out the check watch. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Well, that would... I've always wondered, that's like, um, like fusion... Kind of, you know, uh, we are both talking about algorithms. I've no idea what would happen. That's like, <laughs> that's like energy. You know, it's it's going to blow. It's a fusion bomb waiting to happen. It uh, somebody would need to pour a bucket of water over you both. I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't. Uh, sorry, sir. Yeah. It may, yeah. Maybe that. What have noted? Actually, this is not a not a. Um, this is, this is a serious note, actually. It's a serious observation that many of us geeky types choose partners who are the antithesis. It's, quite a, it's a really uh, a, a point that Flora points out, that many of us are um, married to people people. Um, uh, you know, we have... Uh, Flora is... Um, f- uh, forgive me for saying this, but Flora ha- is frightened of things like falling to her death or crashing in cars and, um, uh, you know, being electrocuted. Um, it's people that frighten me. You know, people... <laughs> I, don't, I don't... It doesn't bother that stuff. And we seem to find... Um, a, lot of, a lot of the people in this, in this room, I think, are, are married to people who are in education or caring or uh, a caring profession. So what's that all about? So, so I can't even, you know, two programmers is like, to, is too much, I think. It's, uh, yeah, that's like that experiment you did at school where it, you know, you pour this in, this in, and it. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to say that uh, some advice for some younger people uh, here, that if they are approached and somebody else is initiating the conversation, you will find that they have a problem with their PC that they want fixed. The trick is not to fix it too quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we know that um, 
we know that you're very attractive uh, during the period that the person's PC is broken. Yes. <laughs> we know John, this. when should you bring flowers? Oh, yeah. Well, that, I mean, with that thing, I, uh, it, it struck me that a, a 1985 Unix machine at a bargain price seemed to me as good a thing as flour. I don't, you know, bargain price. But fl fl I, I think the thing is, it's, it's like the kind of, it's, it's a bit like the I love you thing. If you give somebody flowers, that, that's kind of not forever. You know, a couple of years later, you, 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 probably, you probably want to do it again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It's that kind of, it's, it has to repel. Um, I think um, Danielle told me, he, 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 Danielle had some good advice for me. I'm, I don't want to embarrass you, but he said, how do you remember your wife's birthday? And the answer is, you forget it one year. LAUGHTER <laughs> 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 uh, that was dance, yeah, yeah. Flowers often, but I sometimes think that flower. If you see a guy walking along the street with flowers, you think he's done something really bad. You know, <laughs> that's the international symbol of guilt. Is uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe he couldn't get the Unix box. Yeah, yeah. So, listen, I, maybe we should go and uh, have... So, so we should go now and practice our newly found social skills. We should, uh, you know, talk to each other, say, um, you know, who do you fancy for, uh, for the cricket this year, that kind of thing. Just, just practice some uh, social skills and, you know, be, go, be safe. It's dangerous out there. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs>